This electric mountain bike has been my main electric bike for about two years now. And now that I got a new electric bike, it's not exactly the same thing. It's the Suron Light BX. I wanted to compare how they're different in the trails, especially in the trails that I normally ride. The reason I ride mountain bikes is because I love the feeling of going fast downhill. And considering the weight of the Suron, I would imagine it would be slower or more cumbersome to handle on the trail. So today I want to see how much faster or how much slower the new Saron is compared to the Merida uh, EMTB and see how they compare. <laughs> now of course, going uphill with the electric mountain bike is still hard because uh, the bike isn't doing all the work so you still have to use some power on your own. While the Sauron, it's basically a motorcycle, it does everything for you. So going uphill, Sauron definitely is faster, no doubt in that. Let's get to the part that I'm interested in the most, which is the downhill performance. With the added weight of the Sauron, I'm gonna guess that the electric mountain bike will be faster because it's more nimble and lighter. But I actually wanted to time each run to see exactly how much faster one is from the other. So here we go, let's see which one is faster. <laughs> Although the e-bike is lighter and more nimble, the Suron X on the straightaway was so fast. Every time I pulled on the throttle on the straightaway, it would be incredibly fast. But of course in the corners, the Suron had to brake a lot, but the lack of cornering speed made up in the straightaway. And during the steep sections, you can really feel the weight of the Suron. And you really have to brake earlier than the e-bike because it's heavier. Very surprisingly, the Suron was so much faster, about 6 second lead which is a very big gap in a downhill race. Now please keep in mind that the trail that I tested on was a pretty easy trail so maybe the result could have been different if I went to a very difficult and gnarly trail but at least at my local trail the Suron was a lot faster. Downhill performance is very impressive. Uh, the geometry on that bike is really good. It feels like a downhill bike when you're going downhill when, and it feels like a dirt bike when you're doing flat stuff so it's very very impressive. So guys, I hope you learned something about the difference between the electric mountain bike and the Suron. And I'm going to be posting more videos on the Suron in the future, so please stick around. <laughs> <laughs>